So today we're gonna to talk about Save Search. It's just an introduction and Save Search is super powerful, but I'm really excited to dive into it. I'm Owen Carlson, your ERP coach. In order to get to Save Search, you're gonna to go to Reports, New Search. This is one of the ways that you can get to a Save Search in NetSuite. There are many ways. This page here that you're brought to is a list of every table, every record within NetSuite that is safe searchable, so to speak. So let's take a look at a transaction search as a sample. Now transaction is a special kind of search. All of the different lines for a transaction show up in the transaction table. A transaction search is going to help you search the general ledger within NetSuite. The first part of safe search is criteria. That's gonna help you narrow down the population. When you're doing a transaction search, it's very common to look for sales in the last year. The criteria typically builds the type of search that you are looking for. If I wanted to run a search of sales orders, I could filter down on criteria that says the type of transaction is for sales order, click submit, and I can see how many sales order lines I have in my environment. And in this case, I have 2,849 sales order lines. Now, if we look at this actual data, we'll see the amount for this sales order shows up twice. One on this starred line down here, and then again here where this memo is. What you're seeing here is called the main line, and this is only in transaction searches. Now, mainline is also something you can leverage in criteria, which can be very powerful in safe search. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add criteria for mainline is equal to yes or true. It'll say true when you select it. And by doing this, this is going to only give me the first row of each sales order. So when I run this search, I will know exactly how many sales orders, unique sales orders are in my system. So I have 16, uh, 616 sales orders in my system. The results tab is where we can control the output of the search, the columns that come back when you return it. And there are a few other things that you can control as well. You can control sort type. And I actually came back to the screen because I wanted to check this box for show totals. Any numeric value, if you show totals, when you scroll to the bottom of the results, you'll see a nice total. So when I run this search, it's gonna look very similar to the last search that we just ran. But now when I scroll to the bottom, I can see the total of all my sales orders is 14 million, just over 14 million. If you are making a save search, the title of the save search, in my experience, pretty much describes the criteria in plain English. So if I were to name this search, I would call this all sales orders mainline. And as the title would suggest, these are all sales orders, the criteria, all sales orders, and just the main line, just the header line. So now I have a saved search. These are all sales orders summarized by the main line. The next thing that I think is really powerful to talk about in saved search is summary type. For starters, what I'm gonna do is try to look at our sales orders, which is the criteria that we have, over time. Okay, so I wanna group by a time dimension. And in this case, I'm gonna group by date. Now, if I were to sum the amounts, we're expecting still the total of the amounts to match up to that 14 million. And maybe I can count the number of sales orders in each date. So instead of getting a row for every sales order now, I'm gonna get a row for every date that I've transacted. And instead of having all those different dates, I have 94 different dates that are represented here. And here's my 14 million. Well, this is not super helpful. So what we're gonna do is apply a function to the date and try to summarize this in a bit more um, consolidated fashion. So let's say we broke this down by quarter. So instead of just grouping by date, I'm gonna group by quarter now. And now I can see in quarterly fashion, you know, is there an ebb or a flow to my data? Is our numbers going up or down, right? But I'm still gonna get that same 616 sales orders represented. 
I'm gonna have that same 14 million, but I'm displaying the data in a different way. So let's say I wanted to see this on my dashboard. In editing the search, you can allow the search to be viewable in multiple different contexts. Right now, it's a search that anyone can execute who has access to transactions because this is a public search. If I make it available for a list view or a dashboard view, for example, now I can bring this search onto my dashboard. So I'll just copy the name of this search here. I'll navigate to my dashboard. We're gonna go ahead and personalize. I'm going to add a custom search. And then when I set this up, I'm going to just select the name of the search that I just created. I could limit my results. Maybe I'll limit to 10 results. You can give it a slightly different name. So this is going to be sales orders by year. And now I've got my sales orders by year right on my dashboard. So I can see that trend over time. I can drill into these results and it will take me to the detail behind that safe search, behind that dashboard. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and visit us at zoneandco.com for more details.